Hello, Gator Board. It is your Black Knight. And I hadn't planned on getting the Class A Tulip M100 because I don't really have a lot of history with the car this is based on. You know, I have way more history with cars like the Tahoma Coupe. Not exactly this, but you know. Well, you know, my brother-in-law had one that was almost exactly this. But I mean, I had, you know, I had the Grand Prix, which I think you've. Oh wait, the Grand Prix build isn't going up until the Fourth of July, so that that you you have that to look forward to. But there's going to be a whole there's going to be a whole uh, cavalcade of videos coming out on the Fourth of July, so you have that to look forward to. But this one. For 1.65 million, it's not as good a performer as the Tahoma. You know, per our English racing driver, Bruffy 1322. But for 1.24, you know, when you still have 162 million left, and we'll build that back up. I mean, we got, there's so many ways to make money in this game now. Um, yeah, I don't see how we don't try and get it. Everyone remembers the back seat of the four-door Tulip M100. Well, not me. I, I didn't have one of these, but that's okay. The sincere heart-to-hearts with taxi drivers, the drunken rants to cops, projectile vomiting on the seats without bias. Well, now, now is your chance to sit up front for a change, and with only two doors, the good news is that nobody could pull the crap that you used to pull. Okay, that's an interesting thing. Let's throw in the garage here. So, while we're waiting for that to happen, we can talk here a little bit. Last couple of videos have been a little bit wild. This one should be a little less Just wild word, because make it happen. it's not like a big FOMO kind of thing where, you know, we're never going to be able to get the tulip again. Although, I guess, I guess it's kind of a soft core FOMO kind of thing because... You know, there is a sale that you can miss out on, like 400k. But, I mean, we can make 400k up, no problem nowadays. Now, back in the day, it would have been a lot. But nowadays, it's not probably that big a deal. Now, let's see. Where is this going to show up? I think it's got to be on one of the floors above. Yep, somewhere up here. Probably in the back corner. Watch, don't make me walk all the way across. There you go. So, yeah. So, it's a soft core FEMO kind of thing, but not like a hardcore FEMO, like we're never going to be able to get it again. This looks like it's set up like a drag car, doesn't it? With big wheels in the back and skinnies up front. That's kind of neat. So there shouldn't be a whole lot of FOMO discussions, you know, in this one. So it should be a little more calm. Let's uh, let's just enjoy ourselves here. I I kind of like this more than I thought I would. I was just getting it because it's on sale. But what are our options here? It's gonna need brakes. Sometimes, don't you wish you could put the brakes on life? From plate removal. That would be good for us for a, a good Pennsylvania build. Smooth bumper. I'm liking that even better here. Flush bumper and air dam and deep air dam. So if you're gonna go for a drag build, which we might, How many I'm not usually an air dam kind of person, but that that for for Rusty Jack who has the the racing car driver motif here. Well, there you go, and drag shoot. as good as you. Oh, you're such a sweetheart. Okay, we're building a drag car. That's what we're doing. That's what we've decided to do. Engine, rev it up because it's going to be a drag car. Titanium fender cutouts. Big bore exhausts coming out the back. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? 
Big boar. Let's just go with the big boar. Fenders. Fender trim. Oh, yeah. I think fender trim. Don't you think fender trim? Grill. Turbo grill. Oh, yeah. You gotta go with the turbo grill here. I wonder how that will affect the engine kind of setup here. Headlight covers. Now we're, it's going to be roadworthy. Hood. Well, we went with the turbo grill. I mean, it could be turbo supercharged. No rush at all. The low induction cowl with the with the turbos, and we could put the. Uh, I don't think it's going to be like quad turbo in, in, injected here. Do you think? I, mean, I think the turbo grill implies that the turbos are up here, not up here. Flown by twins. Oh, that's just wrong. Okay, let's let's just go with yeah, low and low column. You know, what's the aerodynamics for this? Whatever Lights, neon kits. Technology and budget permit. There you go. Livery. Okay. Standard stripes. Blue M100 stripes. What makes them M100 stripes? Does it say somewhere? M100 or is that just a name? If you can think it, I can do it. Go with the two-tone fade. It's something to be said for two-tone fade. That is a very standard 80s kind of Paint job though. Flames. Classic drag car look. Decrepit. No. Well, you realize it's Rusty Jack, but we're not we're not going that route with this one. <laughs> brown rings. Rusty browns. Rusty Browns ring donuts. No, we just just can't. Making decisions is stressful. Man, that does look good, doesn't it? So does the flame, though. It's so tough to call. That'll go good with the. We'll have to play with this a little bit. See what color scheme we end How up many with. Cars you got in this garage again? Definitely go with that. Ooh. I'm, you know, oddly enough, even though I'm the black guy, I don't normally go from black cars, but that with the contrasting trim. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? We could we could do the standard silver, silver black kind of thing. Then you go gasoline green, and then do the. You know, that's too close to. No rush at all. Bodywork to match the driver. Go galaxy blue with it, and then put the yeah. We need some. We need some contrast here. I forgot. Like a mariner blue. What? What is the trim? There's surf blue. Okay, so that's what the secondary is. Is is the surf blue? So now you've lost all touch with the. Uh, so surf blue is that. Nautical blue. Racing, ultra, light blue. 
chocolate brown. Now I'm not going with the browns on this one. Whatever the purples decide. work. I'm not sure I'm going with that either. And again, the black looks great, except for the fact that... Okay, I have a plan. If you can think it, I can do it. Let's see if you can follow me on this. We're gonna we're gonna hang on to the surfboard. Your cosmetics are on point. With pearlescent diamond blue. Girl is looking good. Secondary color is gonna be chrome. Don't she look pretty? Trim color. Let's surf blue the interior. Looks almost as good as you. And then go back to the livery. You have your choice here. Two tone fade. Now I'm digging this. Life is hard when you can have anything. It's very 80s. Plate, not a lot of point, is there? Let's see, roll cage, full cage, and carbon seats. Do we want that? Dash Dodger. Roof. Half vinyl. Ooh. Full vinyl roof. But that half vinyl. But I had a half vinyl roof back in the day. Oh, the stock roof look, looks pretty slick this way, though. Those vinyl roofs, they were a problem. Does give it a touch of character, though, doesn't it? Maybe not for a drag car. Remove sill trim, no. That does clean it up, but then, you know, it's... Look, there's definitely something to be said for that, for this build. But then, too, why would everything else be chrome? Spoiler, low spoiler. The drag, we, we are building a drag car here. Extended drag spoiler. Ooh. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? Carbon hot ring. Carbon drag, carbon extended drag. We're just gonna go with the extended drag. Go with a painted one. Suspension. In the weeds. Stock. Hope they're tuned like you want them. Obviously, with the turbo nozzles on the front here, we're going to turbo this it up. Turbo Wheels, not tires, get them bulletproofs, but I don't know. Tire design, okay. Let's go to wheel type, go muscle. What happens if we, if we change this? Does it change the skinny... That. No, it, it doesn't change the actual style of this.
Yeah, the old schools look like they go well here. Think long and hard. I mean, the drag stealers are nice. Don't get me wrong. I feel like I feel like the old school's calling me on this one. Whatever you desire. Some chrome Technology old schools. This is a drag car, but it's an expensive upscale show car and drag car kind of thing. Let's see. Tires. Yeah. I've got that installed for you. Light smoke on the windows. Oh, exit to ground. I want to drive this thing. Oh my god! That is really good looking. That car totally is hot. Okay, I've got to see. Are the are the turbo nostrils here hooked up? Can you see anything in there? I don't know that I get the impression that the turbos are actually there. Do you? So maybe, just maybe, we want to rethink that. Let's rethink. Maybe we want to go with a, a different grill. And a more aggressive hood. As befits a drag car. Little change in the front end. What are you after? Grill. There's stock. If you can think it, I can do it. Let's go smooth billet. Then you go to the hood. This is very top fuel kind of, you know, well not top fuel, what was the um, super stock? I forget which uh, thing here, but this supercharged cutout. Life is hard when you can have anything. Old school you know, blower style, and we go turbo. Making decisions is stressful. Let's go with the twin, blown by twins. Let's let's try that. Look at look and see how that looks. Be your best you. Let me pop the hood. Can we do this while we're sitting in the car. Yes, we can. Can we see what's going on? Oh, uh, that that looks nice. There's the actual turbo piping going on there. Yes, yes, yes. This, this, that's, that's what we want to go with. That's nice. Go 
talk. Is that, I forget, did the back open with that? I have to spend all my time playing with the doors, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, look at that. Wow. The whole the whole thing just flips up. Very usable truck. Nice interior. Yeah, should I go with a white interior? No, I think that this is good. Yeah, I mean, of good is better, you know? It doesn't run. And yes, 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 we're going to take one up till yeah, at some point. I don't know if this drag version is the... I mean, they're all going to be drag versions here, I guess. It's a very draggy kind of car. This is, this is kind of quick. I don't think it's exceptional. Pleasant enough, though. Again, it looks really cool. This is a good show car kind of thing. Um, again, it's one of those cars, it's like the Eudora. I'm digging it more than I thought of. The diamond blue coming through. So yes, yes, I think this is definitely a yes. Perfect high-end drag car, something that you would expect to see in the Rusty Jack Speed garages here at the office. I'm digging it. So now let's switch over and. Build another one. Balls, balls, balls. I'm not gonna crap. So, you guys know the drill. If I swap characters to do another car build, and I show up with a built car, and everything's done, that means there's a whole bunch of stuff I thought I was recording and didn't record. Including driving this thing up and down Chiliad. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pretend we don't know how well this is going to go. And I know exactly how well this is going to go. We'll let you guess how it's going to go. But let's, let's take it outside here. Take a look at it. Because there is an interesting thing about it. When you go to pop the hood, you go down the doors, all... Yeah, the hood doesn't pop. Because I picked the hood that has the latches on it, I think, the hood does not open. Now, I can tell you from the rundown Chiliad that the hood will come off, and there is engine detail under there, and it does all make sense, but... Yeah, that was desperately annoying. So, it's some time later now. Let's do this. No, not wrong. My jobs. My race is the Chilead Hot Lap Route. Now you could say I went for a milder build on this. But really it's a little more unhinged because it's still a drag car. It just doesn't have the, the safety things on it. Like, you know, 
a parachute. All the stuff you need for drag racing. No, no, no. It's 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 more it's this is street, whereas the other one's more pro street. I would say it that way. I have a lot of muscle cars. And it's in here somewhere. There's still cars I have to build up. Still have something to do. That's that there's the uh there's the Tahoma. Which I was just gonna stick with the Tahomas really, but oh, I said that already, right? I don't even know. You when you've lost a lot of playtime. Recorded a bunch of stuff, but not. So to go over what we ended up doing. The paint job is the same paint job that I gave Goldbug in, in the Transformers build. Wow, I made exactly the... This is not going well. To the, to the right, Morris, good sir. I did not have this much problem the first time around. I splash it. We're going to have the train to deal with it, aren't we? I am impressed with how badly I'm doing here. Now, great, but he is actually much later. And not nearly as kind of bad in this world. But, you know, I tell happy this thing is. That does not bode well going forward. As you will soon find out. So, we can all work with two in the long hair. So, you can see I kept the stock of wheels, kept the chrome secondary. Well, I'm a sucker for being honest, especially in this vintage car. Went with the half vinyl. I had a half vinyl on my old Buick. I had, I had, the half vinyl was a popular thing back then. You gotta have a car like that. But with the supercharger, just cut through the, the nose there. Not the, not the big blower ones, because I, I don't think this thing has enough power to warrant it. With the white interior, with the, you know, that, that whole white interior, gold exterior with the black highlights. I thought about putting the black stripes on, but no, it's not quite there. We're just going to go with the gold. Let the vinyl be the black accent. Does it really call for for flame? You know, it's just some. It's another elegant kind of build here. Yeah, it's a trend. But still a little bit, you know, still a little bit more harrow than the last one. It doesn't doesn't have the full. It has the it ha, it has the, uh, the the dash dash cage. Doesn't have the wheelie bars. Doesn't have the parachute. What with chrome steel? The, the stock chrome steel rims. Now. Boy, it's so much worse when you know it's <laughs> We... No, that's not going to end well. Hold on. Keep going. Really, really... Uh. Yeah, 
it don't like this. It don't like this at all. I'm trying to take a slightly different line of water. It's just, boy, it starts running out of gas. It starts running out of traction really hard. Come on, maybe we can do better this time. What if we, what if we do better this time? What do you think about better? Maybe we can do better. Come on. Better. Come on, you were doing better. Better, 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 better than the time I was recording and this is not better. This is same. This is the same as last time. Come now. They're trying to use the handbrake to just walk it up the hill. Yeah, and it, I'll tell you right now, cutting across. Nah, but that, that didn't go well last time. Now. Yeah, the wrong way is... Now. Oh, we can pop the hood off. You can see the, the, uh... See the engine, I guess. We're gonna have opportunity. Yeah, yeah, go with the train. I don't think this is gonna survive the train very well. A lot of trains. So we're doing exactly what we did when I thought I was recording. Am I recording now? Hold on. Wrong buttons. Let's see. What's that one? Yeah, we are. We are in fact recording. What should have done. Last time, you think I learned? I do, I do this all the time. I do, you, know, you hit the button. Sometimes the button doesn't hear you. You think you hit the button? Maybe you hit the other button. I don't know. I don't know what causes these failures, but uh, failures happen. And by the way, I hemmed in hard in the video that was not recorded about putting a spoiler on this. Because I, as I recall, I think Ruffy mentions in the original video that it doesn't gain anything. There's something about this car that doesn't gain anything in the spoiler. It's been a while since I've noticed that, so it's like just out of sheer par the paranoia of being an old school GTA. Racer, I just put the spoiler on it because you know, in my mind, it needs a spoiler. I didn't go wild with it. I'm not usually one for the big wing because it, it does, I think, throw off the balance of the car. It tends to make it more tail happy. This thing is already tail happy. Because weight does matter. The, the, the bigger wing does change the handle. And you don't get more traction. So I generally go to smallest wing and get away. If you can keep the momentum going, it doesn't do too bad. Otherwise, it goes very badly. <laughs> <coughs> that cough was just hanging there. Maybe it was coming. I cough a lot. It is right now, you know, as I'm doing this end of April, and boy, and howdy. The Claritin's doing its best, but... The last few weeks have been fun. The 
Yee. Yee. Come on. This took several attempts last time. It just kept sailing off to the left and right here, but we're, we're, we think we've got the technique down. Is that you have to kind of, let's just turn this around and make it pretty, pretty straight on attack at this. Back it up, but not, not too much. But really just go aggressive. Wow, it's even as it swung out. Oh, we just barely get it. Okay. Well, that's different than all the other times we tried this, so that's hey. And the last time, well, not the last time I did it, I did eventually get down the mountain, but the first time I went down the mountain with this, it got right to the bottom and exploded. Not very handily, not great things. Can we do better? Better, better, better. Time for some better. I think we need some better. Different line than we usually take. And we're out of control again already. But hey, that might have stopped us from going into the wrong part of the canyon. Let's just try Use hitting the tree to our advantage. For a frisbee again. We trying to turn as left as hard as I can here and it's just woo alright well we can get down out ouch ouch ouchy still haven't knocked the hood off still, still stuck okay go Don't hit the thing. Go ahead. Don't think they'll do more than that. Okay. Well, it went more smoothly this time. I know that seems hard to believe. But it actually, well, I mean, the initial trying to get across the river. Checking the radio there. What about? Cannot recommend this as a G Fred card. It's really. Can't really recommend it as a racing car, really. You don't want to take this. Against other muscles. I mean, it's just not going to handle it. Trying to see if I can get this hood off. Hit with the boop gun, maybe. Once, once we're in range of the, the final checkpoint. It does have its own allure. Oh, yeah, that was expected to jump. Yeah, wow, this is really sliding off to the side here. Whoa, what are we doing? I've never had trouble here before. Up symbol, let's go. Dig the car for its, you know, its 80s. I think we did somehow get up to the edge of that last time. I'm not picky. Wow! Ooh.
the attempt is a little it's a little unstable. It's a wee bit. Just a touch. Okay, let's get to this checkpoint so we can we can if something bad happens here we can reset right here. But let's let's see if we can use something here. First of all. Can I use the M button? No, I can't. But I can I can definitely go boop. Try to get the hood open this way. I just want to show you that show them the engine now. We're, we're almost there. Is this something a little bit more solid? Take all the holes. There we go! We finally got it. Mission accomplished. And so that's what it looks like if you could open the hood. You can't just regularly open the hood. And it's really kind of a shame because there's a lot of detail going on here. Multiple pulleys and all this other kind of stuff going on. That you will never see because the way they designed the hood, it doesn't open. What's there? Look at that, actually, it actually tore off the vinyl. It actually treats it like vinyl. See that? Let's, let's focus on that. The fact that you can have torn vinyl, that impresses me. Just rip the vinyl right off. And it, it's an interesting thing, because again, the car is not great as far as performance, but there's something endearing about it. There's a quality this has and the Eudora has that somehow the Issy Rally doesn't for me. I'm not sure what that is. I mean, it's, maybe it's just, it's from my era, you know? There's a part of me, I was just talking about this today, there's a part of me that's tempted to buy an old car like this you know more specifically I'd rather get like you know my old Regal back which that car was destroyed because you know we, we blew the motor in it and what wait what's the, the why is the idle timer on that like two minutes that's, that's, that's ridiculous do 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 you know he's bobbing so But if I if I go back, that car had some serious, you know, reliability issues. I mean, until we got until we got the rear end sorted out, that had been recalled. I mean, you know, those the, the clips that hold the axles in would just disintegrate, and then the wheels were coming off. It's, with the axles, it was it was an interesting thing. So these are not unless you really build them with a lot of you know updated stuff. Get yourself a car from the 80s, it's 40 pushing, I mean, I hate to say it, pushing 50, you know, pushing 50, but I mean, well, I mean, 71 is 50. That's 51, coming up on 52. We're at the point where, yeah, so seven, if you're, if 18 from 1973 is 50 years old, so I mean, if you're looking at 1980, 81, 40 years old. You get a car that's 40 years old. That's that's a showpiece, not necessarily a daily driver. You have to do a lot with that. 
can make it reliable. But the stuff has just been around. But in video games, well, hey. You notice you now I haven't blown the transmission in a, in a GTA car ever. Because it's fantasy, and that's the fun part. So here you are, I am driving a car from you with this hopped up motor. And it's not that people don't do that, but like, there's no way I can, you know, put the proper amount of cash into this thing. If I were to get a car like this, just to cruise with. Don't get me wrong, I still have my 96 T-Bird. And I could see myself somewhere down the road having to put a motor in there. Rockstar, when are you going to give me a... I believe it's the Fortune is the in-game equivalent. The in-game years to put one of the t and, and don't do it dirty like you did it in GTA 4 with a V6. Give it that V8. Give me a fortune with the V8. You could you could do a base upgrade that turns it into a, a hot ring saber kind of thing. Let let there be a Ford versus Chevy thing in the in that realm. You got the Toyota in there. You got the Karen. Got the Class A's and Karens. Let's get let's get a Vapid in there. Get some old school Thunderbirds going. Dump it off to free mode. I think somewhere I have the cl a little clip because when I thought I was ending the broadcast, I started the broadcast. So, but I had a great sunset view of the car here. Right now we have a rain view. But here it is. I kept the stock wheels, chromed everything again the way it would would have been back then. Just a nice street build. Not necessarily mild. That motor isn't mild. And the NASCAR exhaust, not mild. And the huge tires and the skinnies up front, not mild. Look the motor hanging down there. But as far as body mods, it's just a nice gold. And some yellow highlights. And maybe I can cut in the clip. I think I still have a little bit of a clip. I discovered I probably wasn't uh, recording. But wait long enough, the sun will go down. But here we are, and I don't have too much else to say on this. I like the car. I'm not going to sell it off. It's going to be there. I like the other one, too. I like these. There's something about them. It looks good from many angles. Does it do anything else good? Eh, it does stuff adequately. But you're not winning a G-Fred with it. Not even fully modified. Not unless everybody else has had something really horrible go on. So, well, there you have it. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.